after round eight. And I must say, must say my my tipping's getting better after a like I said, a little little slip up in round one and two. I think round two was pretty bad. I think I got five, but um we did well. Back to back seven out of eight tips correct. Unfortunately, uh they lost, roosters lost, and the rabbits. I, I believe I did say I had a feeling rabbits were doing or I wanted to go rabbits. Um unfortunately they the instincts were right on that one. Um which means it's great. Roosters lost. I love that. Um so that that was my only blemish of the round. I think this round's gonna be uh, a bit harder to kind of tip. Just because there's players missing and I've kind of gone a little bit way not wayward but kind of a predict type of pick but we'll get through all that uh let's have a quick look at the ladder broncos still on top um which is fantastic until well we've lost three of our players and then origin is going to come up soon um which will be a very interesting period uh we usually get one or two wins during during it. Um, in saying that, a lot of our players probably won't necessarily get caught up to Origin. Um, but it's good that they are all performing; that they could be in contention uh, for for the for the New South Wales or Queensland side, um, which is means it's great. And now our depth is really going to be challenged. Uh, especially because they're going up against Roosters. Um, Dolphins, love it. I hope they make finals. Really do. Um, Roosters, I hope they don't make finals. Uh, Eels, I really hope they are bottom four. But unfortunately, your bottom four currently is probably what it's going to be. Um, unfortunately, my tip of the Knights being on the bottom of the ladder, the Wooden Spooners, is pretty much non-existent. Um, unless West Tigers have about, mm, let's say, five more buy rounds and Knights don't win a game again. Uh, unfortunately, that's just reality, so we can say that prediction's gone. Uh, what else we got here? Um, not much. Titans blew another lead. What do you expect? Uh, the only thing that they blow is uh, some, some bit of the white powder down. And if, you, if you're... Someone who is around, well, Australia, pretty much, um, or the Rugby League, or I guess you could say AFL world. Um, the substance is quite popular for players that go to a Gold Coast team. Um, it's unfortunate, but it's the way it is. Uh, Storm, looking good. I this The Storm vs. Warriors game, I was watching it, I was really, really hoping Warriors would win. Um, I really like the Warriors. I need to start backing them more. Um, I felt like they were a bit hard done by. And they finished the game with no players on the bench. Which is pretty good. And they only lost by 8 points, I think it was, off by memory. Um, but they really stuck in there. It's going to be a real challenging game. They've got the Roosters this week. Um, a home game, so I'm hoping that kind of helps them, you know, get across the line. But we'll see. But in saying that, let's look at the games. Round one, Sharks versus Cowboys. Unfortunately for the Cowboys, you're not going to win many games, and this game is not one of them. So it's quite easy to go Sharks. You know, how can you not pick Sharks? It's a home game for the Sharks. The Cowboys, they're still trying to find something. Don't know what it is, but they're trying to find it. Um, so hopefully they figure it out. I don't think they will. I guess you could say the way the Titans are playing, even though Cowboys are lower than the top, are they lower? Uh, yeah, they, yeah, they are. Yeah, we know that. Um, I would say Titans are probably the worst Queensland team, not the Cowboys. 
Um, so yeah, that's what I think of them. Uh, Eels Knights, this, this is kind of a weird game. I would love it if Knights won, but in terms of tipping, I'm going to have to back the Eels. I don't want to, but I've got to, I've got to play, play smart. This is, we're here, you know, to get tips correct. So stay above 50% tip rate. Um, so yeah, Eels. Now, I said before, Broncos are missing some players, especially Payne Haas, who... I don't know if this is... I think the suspension takes him out of the Daily M. But I hope it doesn't, because he has a very strong case for being Daily M Player of the Year, which is the league's best and fairest player. Um, he's in phenomenal form. And you're versing the Rabbits, who came off a very good win against... Uh, who they versed the Roosters, if I remember correctly. I'm pretty sure I said that before. Short-term memory loss. It happens to everyone. Um, again, this will test the Broncos, but I have faith. It's a home game. Adam Reynolds against the Rabbits. Should be a good game. Should be very good. Raiders v Dolphins. Now... If this, I can't say if this was any other team, I would not pick Dolphins. But I feel good about the Dolphins lately. And the fact that they came down 20, 26 nil. Oh my lord, it was 26 nil. 26 nil and come back to beat the Titans. You know, it's the Titans. They're only a first half team. Um. I'm feeling good, and Raiders aren't exactly in the greatest of form. And who knows how well they play with Jack White and confirmed go on. Um, so it'd be interesting how that dynamic kind of plays out. And it's a home game. Oh, how are the fans going to react? Actually, no, this is in Wagga Wagga, not Canberra. Other way, it'd be interesting. Seagulls Titans, this is pretty easy to pick. You've got to go to Seagulls. Uh, Panthers Tigers again Tigers bottom of the ladder you have to pick Panthers I mean how good would it be though if Tigers for their first win beat the Panthers it will not happen I'm just saying how great would it be uh, Warriors Roosters Warriors are going to be tested this week but I'm still backing them um, home game so I think the crowd will really get behind them because they're playing exceptional footy at the moment uh, roosters are not they're scrappy they look lost most of the time they don't have a game plan by the looks of it um even though they definitely would have a game plan it just doesn't seem like it's working so they need to figure that out uh dragons bulldogs now i feel sorry for the bulldogs they don't deserve to be three and five they deserve to be at least Maybe five and two. No, that's not good math. Five and probably, they should probably five and three, I would say. But injuries and I guess in terms of their players being together, it's a young team. Um, they've got a lot of veterans, and they they still need to, you know, learn how each other's play. And with injuries, they can't do that. Um, so which is why they're in this position that they are dragons I feel they've had some very close games like we go back a few rounds they win their versus in the Broncos Broncos scored four tries in 10 minutes that's just a straight brain fade from dragons um, and I believe the other games have been close I just can't remember you know I keep saying this every week. It's 10.30 at night. I need to stop doing them at this time. I just hurt my foot. Ow. Anyway, moving on to... Wait, is that the last game? I think this is the last game. Ooh, cool. Let's look at... Oh, I was right. This was... That was the last round. So let's have a quick look see, look -see at the... The round. Uh, Sharks Cowboys. I'll dare say it's probably going to be a blowout. Uh, Eels, Knights, that's probably going to be close. 
Broncos Rabbits is probably going to be close. Uh, Raiders Dolphins, that's going to be close. Seagulls Titans, probably going to be a blowout. Panthers Tigers, probably going to be a blowout. Warriors Roosters, that's going to be close. St. George Bulldogs might end up being a blowout unless the Bulldogs pull some magic and make it close. But I wouldn't be surprised if St. George actually kind of run away with it. Um, so yeah, here we are. Another round done in the books. Um, and we must be close to doing a state of origin. We're a third of the way into the season. So it might be time to start doing my state of origin type stuff. Anyway. Well, thank you for watching, everyone. Uh, if you made it this far, thank you for making it this far. If you, uh, if you didn't, then you would not be getting this message. Uh, let me know how your team's going or how your tipping's going. One of the visas out of place. Just know the site. Anyway. Um, until next week, I will see you later. Bye-bye.